everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy and today I am filming one of my favourite videos to film. It's a Sarah J Maz video. So it is no secret that I am very, very excited for the release of Tower of Dawn, which is the latest novel in the Throne of Glass series. It's out on the 5th of September, that is so close. So when I found out that Bloomsbury was running a book club to read all of the Throne of Glass books before Tower of Dawn was out, of course I had to join in. So I've reviewed on this channel most books in the Throne of Glass series apart from the first three. So when I was asked to film a video all about one of my favourite Throne of Glass books, I had to choose Era Fire because that book changed everything and I'm really excited that I get a chance to talk about it today as I'm rereading the series. So there are a few other booktubers participating on this challenge so you can see them either side, I'll leave all links down in the description bar, but basically each of us is taking a book in the series and we're going to chat about it. So get excited because Tara Dawn is on the way and I am excited. So somehow I managed to miss out on doing a video review of Era of Fire but this book, make no mistake, is one of my favourite books in the series. It is also one of the heftiest in the series and this is slightly breaking my arm by carrying all these books but as you can see Aerofy It, this one here, is where the series starts to get a bit chunkier. It is also where the narrative jumps from being a straight one person point of view narrative to exploding into multi points of view. It basically takes it up to a whole new level. So as I mentioned when I was reading Aerofy again I realised how much of a game changer it really really was. Aerofy Fire sees Selena, who is our main character, sail from where she was in Ardalan as the king's champion, basically his assassin, into another world of Wendlin. And that is where we really, really start to get a grasp of how large the Throne of Glass world is. Sarah J Maas in this book completely enlarges the world and it's a world that we get more and more glimpses of as the series progresses. We start to explore different pockets of the world. So Air of Fire kind of shows us a world outside of Ardalan, outside of the cast of characters that we've known and loved in Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. Aerofire introduces a whole different cast of characters, some of whom are my favourites, not gonna lie, and basically steps up the game. It broadens the world. And I might have mentioned this on this channel before, but essentially what I think Aerofire does is catapults the Throne of Glass series into a multi-layered epic fantasy series that really stands on its own amongst a lot of the other fantasy YA series out there. I remember when I first read Aerofire, it took me months to read it. Looking back, I am not surprised that it took me so long. So when I reread this book for this book club the second time round, I kind of understood why it took me so long to read the first time round. It is so much more considered, it's so much more practiced, it's so much more detailed than the first two books. This book does require a degree of patience because it's almost like you're building that world again. The world building needs to be reintroduced because we've never been to the world of Wendelin before. We've never met these new characters before. So an element of world building needs to be considered and sometimes that takes longer. It's also worth noting that Air of Fire has four story arcs. We get a glimpse back of life in Ardlan with Kaol and Dorian, we get a glimpse of what Selena is doing in Wendelin and we also get introduced to a new character called Manon who is a Blackbeak witch. If you've not yet read the series in full, Manon becomes a character that will rival Selena. Manon is one of my favourite characters so when she first gets introduced in Air of Fire she kind of comes in and you're like you really really hate her a little bit but she is just one of the best characters and her story arc in particular throughout the series is really incredible to read. So in Air of Fire we see our main character Selena being sent to Wendelin to assassinate the royal family there. Eventually though, Selena ends up abandoning her role as the king's champion and what goes on from there is an incredible plot that completely expands the world and is so, so brilliantly told. A lot of this book, as well as expansion of the plot, is expansion of the characters. So Selena expands as a person completely because in Crown of Midnight, the last book, she experiences sorrow and loss so acutely that a lot of this book is her building herself up again, is her becoming who she really needs to be, which I won't spoil if you've not read this book, but who she really is, is a far cry from the person that she is in the first two books. Aerofire also introduces a character called Rowan who plays an incredibly important part as, spoiler, he essentially becomes Aelin's 
life partner. He is the one that she is meant to be with. So I loved reading this book back and kind of experiencing that chemistry for the first time again, knowing where their story arc leads. Personally, I always think it's a little bit scary when you're midway through an epic fantasy series and a whole new cast of characters arrive and you've got to get time to get used to them. Well, there's no problems of this in this book because all the characters have an incredible weight to the plot. They all are meant to be there for a reason and they end up playing a huge part in the development of Selena as a character and the eventual direction of the plot. After Crown of Midnight there's essentially a departure from Kale and Selena and that is partially one of the reasons why I'm so looking forward to Tara Dawn because I think since Era Fire there's not really been a lot of moments for Kale to shine. He wasn't in Empire of Storms at all so I am so glad that Sarah J Maas decided to write an entire book all about Kale's adventures with Nezrin as they go off and I'm telling you that book can't come soon enough. So you guys can expect a full video review of Tower of Dawn, I can't wait, I'm sure you guys can't either. So everyone I hope you enjoyed my review as it were of Air of Fire which of course I've already read before as it is one of my favourite books in the Throne of Glass series. So I'll be leaving all links down below including the videos of the other creators so far who have been doing videos all reviewing the series which is so exciting and I will no doubt be catching up with you guys when I read and review Tower of Dawn so I can't wait. Do let me know by the way in the comments what your favourite Throne of Glass book is because that would be really interesting to know what people's favourites were. Mine I think are obviously Air of Fire and I must say Empire of Storms was pretty incredible too. So guys that's it from me today. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for weekly bookish videos and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye! Thank you.